Hello and welcome, my name is Dr. Anthony Cliff and today we're going to talk about data descriptives of your data. So first and foremost, why do we want to um, look at that? What, what, what's the important part of that? Well first and foremost, you want to investigate how your sample matches up in terms of the age, gender and education level to the population that you're investigating. And why is that important? Well, if you have a sample of say 100 people and your population is 1000, then if you match up in terms of age, gender and education level to what that population actually is out of that 1000, then you've got a rough idea then that you've sampled you know, a little bit of everything in there that you've got a really good balance um, across across the board and therefore any conclusions that you make could be you know, relatively accurate to what the population may well will say because obviously we haven't got time to um, to talk to every single person and give our questionnaire to every single person in the population so that's why we use samples so we want to kind of make sure that our sample is as close as we can to the actual population overall um, now what if it's different so it's not necessarily a, a bad thing but for an example um, in the population as a whole you may see a census study and it may have 60% of females and 40% of males but you may find in your sample for example it's the other way around you have 60% males compared to 40% females so you want to see how different it is and therefore you need to be aware of how that could influence your results and your conclusions um, because certainly in that element, you could have more males saying one thing, and it's like, well, are they saying that because they, they truly believe that, or are they saying that because the data, you simply have more males than females? So you just need to be aware of that. And obviously, if you're close to the sample, then excellent. Um, but in the real world, that doesn't always happen, um, and it can be quite a challenge to do that. So what kind of descriptive statistics are we talking about here? Well, first and foremost, one of the main things you look at is your frequencies. Now, frequencies is simply how many people or how many variables have said what. So, for example, how many males have said yes, how many females have said no. Um, and in SPSS, which I'll show you, that's incredibly easy straight away to see where your data is lying, what people are saying for each question. It's great for seeing that at a glance. But often in the real world, um, we don't talk about 25 people said this or 170 people said that. We talk in percentages. Um, so we would say, you know, 70% of people said this or 80% agreed here. Um, but there is a caveat to that. So while we do use that more often, you need to be careful when using percentages compared to frequencies to make sure it's an accurate representation of your data. So, for example... If your entire population is a thousand people, but you've only spoke to ten people, and if six of them said yes to one of your questions, then while yes, sixty percent of ten have said yes, if you were to put that in your results and to say sixty percent of people are more likely to say X than Y, well, it's a bit misleading, really, because really it's only six people out of ten, rather than you know um, six hundred people out of a thousand, for example. So. Just be careful when you're using percentages. Often, if you've got over 100 pieces of data, then probably go with percentages. Anything less than that, probably err on the side of caution and frequencies. Um, or, if you're going to give the percentages, then also give the frequency, uh, so the actual number there of people have actually said it, to give people an idea of how big that percentage actually is. So you can do frequencies and percentages straight away in SPSS. You don't need any other tests for that. However, once you start looking into a bit more descriptive data um, and a bit more statistical tests, well, you need to know how normal your data is, and we need to do a test for normality. So a test for normality will tell you how normal your data is, and so whether you can use a parametric test or a non-parametric test. And this is important, really, because if you use the wrong one, that could um, be a challenge for your data. And I'll talk you through how to do that. A popular test is a chi-squared test of association, and that's a descriptive test that investigates if there's a relationship between two variables. So, for example, are males more likely to do X um, than compared to females who might do Y? So you're looking at two variables there between an independent and a dependent variable. And finally, 
If you've got scale, or like test scores, if you've got some ranked data or like it scale data, then sometimes it can be useful to see uh, what's the most chosen, what's the middle chosen, and then what is the average. So that's your mean, medians, and modes. So for this video, I'm going to just show you very quickly how to use SPSS to get your frequencies and your percentages. Okay, so I've opened up a, an SPSS file here. And first and foremost, what we're going to do is do some data descriptive. So we're basically, we basically want to look at our frequencies and our percentages of our data. So to do that is really simple. We go to Analyze here on the top toolbar. Click on that, and that should have a drop-down list. Go across to Descriptive Statistics, and then simply go across to Frequencies. Once you clicked on that, that will pop up a new box. So for my first one, I'm going to look at my gender. So I ask my sample, you know, are you male or are you female? So if you click on that, so it's highlighted, click on the little arrow, and that will take you over to the variable box. Then if we click Statistics, here, if this was a ranked one or a, a chi-squared or a scale, you can click your mean, medium, and modes here. If you want to see um, your standard deviation, um, you can click all that here. I don't need that for now because I just know that was a male or female question. But simply, if you did, you just click on them and then click continue. For your charts, I quite like having a graphical representation. So I'm going to click bar charts and then the frequencies. Again, it's up to you. You can pick frequencies or percentages. You can always come back and do this again. Leave everything else as is. Make sure your display frequency tables are ticked. And then click OK. Then SPSS will run that for you. OK, so let me talk you through what this is basically saying. So in this sample, there was 91 people. There is no missing data, which is good. And I go across here, left to right. So this is my gender question. I had male or female that they could have selected. So I had 35 males, and that equates to 38.5% of my population are male. Now, it's important here that we always focus on this valid percent. So if you had missing data, missing data would be included in here, and it wouldn't be an accurate representation. So always focus on your valid percent. So as I can see in my sample, then I have 61.5% female compared to male. So I have a bit more of a sway towards female. But as this was investigating geography students on a particular course, that is actually a very good accurate representation of the gender split. It's a little bit slightly off, it's usually 60-40 um, for this particular population. But I know I'm relatively in the ballpark there. It's not too far off. Now if I scroll down, SPSS also gives you a graphical representation of that. Um, so as you can see here, we have male, females a little bit higher than males. Now if you go back to Analyze, Descriptives, and your Frequencies again, you can do this um, a quicker way. So you can hold Control down, keep holding it, and click every single variable you've got. I'm not going to do it all for this one, but once you've done that, release your Control button, throw it across here using that button, and then click OK, and then SPSS will run that data for you um, as we go through. So, for example, for my age, I can see where my population is sitting, how does that match up with the average, and then at the bottom, you also have the graphical representations of that. So that's really easy, and all you would do then is right-click this, you would click Copy, you would then open up a Word file, you would paste that in there, and then you would talk about your data. You would say where your population lies, does it match up, um, what is the most um, chosen one here, what's the least chosen, and potentially give a reason for why that may be. So when you're only writing any reports, this should always come first. Your, your data descriptors, you're letting your reader know what type of data you have, how does it match up to the average of that actual population, and it's giving them a feel for the data before you actually go in there and do some actual statistical tests. So that is frequencies and percentages in SPSS.